When something negative happens to you, seek the refuge of Allah. Seek the blessing of Allah. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. You know, when the condition of your heart will determine whether it's a punishment or a blessing. And you know, when something happens to you, whether it's a positive or a negative, that's beside the point. But when something happens to you, whether it brings you closer to Allah or it distances you from Allah, will determine whether it's a punishment or a blessing. And now if it brings you closer to Allah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. But if it takes you away from Allah, it's a punishment. You know, a lot of the brothers are looking at me confused, so let me explain. <laughs> let me give you an example. You know, let's say there's a man, pretty average man, alhamdulillah, he prays his salah, he's close to Islam, he, you know, he has that relationship with Allah. Suddenly one day, let's say he wins he win the jackpot, and you know, he, he's, uh, his company, let's say his company becomes a million dollar company. This is an example. So now he becomes a millionaire. Is there a blessing from Allah? Sure. But he becomes a millionaire, and he becomes distant from Allah. He becomes distant from Allah, he stopped praying his salah now, he stopped seeking the blessing of Allah, he stopped studying the Islam religion, and he stopped reading the Quran. Is that really a blessing? Did Allah really bless him with the, with the money? No, it's a punishment, you know? If something happens to you and it distances you from Allah, it's a punishment. It's, it's not a blessing, no matter how, how it may seem. If it distances you from Allah, it's a, it's a punishment. You know? So now, let's talk about let's talk about the negative side of the thing. Let's say something negative happens to you, you know? Take it as a blessing. You know, let's say uh, let's say there's a sick man, you know, may Allah cure all the sick people, I mean. Let's say there's a sick man, he has cancer, let's say for example, and then he goes to the doctor, the doctor says you have six months to live. Six months to live. And he you know he says, Ya Allah, why you why are you punishing me? What he has six months to live? But during that six months, he reads the Quran, he focuses on Salah, he never misses the Salah, he prays his Salah with full sweetness, full halawa, and he prays, you know, and he reads the Quran every night, every day, and he studies the Islam religion to the best he can, to the best of his, uh, best of his ability. That's a blessing from Allah, that made him closer to Allah. Having six months to live, made him closer to Allah, that's a blessing. And you know, uh, that six months can turn into 60 years with Allah's will, you know, Allah controls everything, Allah is all in the, in the plans of Allah, it's all in the hands of Allah. So just one thing, brothers, take away from tonight's, uh, you know, Qudra. Take one thing away from tonight. When something happens to you, if it brings you closer to Allah, it's a blessing. If it, even if it's a negative, if it brings you closer to Allah, it's a positive. But if something positive happens to you, you know, in this you from Allah, it's a negative. So sometimes when, the, what something, but when what may seem like a blessing is a punishment. No, sometimes what may seem like a punishment is a blessing. It's all it all matters on the condition of your heart.